Hey guys, Zrod here again. Um, I'm showing you guys this video on how to make a, the perfect turning tool for your gold or silver leaf. Um, I got a few questions on Facebook on how I got my perfect um, spin on a test panel I did. I just did this test panel. Um, it's probably going to be real hard to see, but the, these lines are just so sharp and they just look so nice. People have really been liking them, so I got a few requests on how I made my tool. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how I did that. So first, I'm going to start off with this little grinding. Um, what do you call it? Attachment, I guess, for your your angle grinder or your drill, whatever you, whatever will fit on it. I get these at Walmart. It comes in a kit and it comes with a bunch of these discs. Um, this is also what I use to do my my ground aluminum panels that I've been posting. Um, so anyways, I start off by getting a little piece of cotton, maybe like half of a cotton ball. I just stick it on here. So whenever I put these pads on, I wanted to give it a side of a dome shape. I don't want it to be flat. Excuse me. Um... Because last time I tried it just flat like this, it left a ring on my leaf and I didn't like the way it looked. So this way it came out a lot better and obviously it looks better on that leaf. Um, these pads, I get them at Walmart in the beauty section. Um, they're called round applicator sponges. This is what the package looks like. I think you get them for like three, four bucks for a pack of 12. Um... So I, what I do, I get a piece of cotton on here. I'll stack maybe one, two, three. I'll we'll stack three of them on here. And it gives you that real springy feel. So that way you have some room to, to apply pressure. If you're, you, you can adjust your pressure is what I'm trying to say. Um, whereas if you were just on a flat surface like this with maybe just one cotton ball and some velvet or whatever you guys use, you might have a tendency to dig into your leaf. That's what I've noticed from my experience. I don't know what how you guys feel about that, but anyways, I put three of these foam things on here, and then we'll get either I like to use these blue shop towels, or you can get a regular paper towel. Um, you just drape it over it and pull it down tight. And just position it and make sure they're all lined up under there. And get you some rubber bands. And just wrap it around here at the base. You don't want to wrap it up here because it, it's not going to hold on. You want to wrap it around here where that shaft was. But not too far down because you still, in case you do want to attach it to your drill, you still want it to be able to hook up to it. So you just wrap it around few times. I might break this because these rubber bands are real brittle. Anyways, that should be good enough right there. And see, you can see how, how springy it is. It's not real stiff, so you have enough room to apply different kinds of pressure on there. If you want to go real deep and dig real hard, or you just want to go real soft. So that's why I like these sponges. So the next thing we do, I just get my scissors and I cut off the the excess. Because if you were to just stick this on your drill like that, it'll hurt you. And shit, it beat the hell out of me one time. I'll never do that shit again. So, you just scissors suck. I have a blade here somewhere. Just keep using the scissors. You don't try not to trim too far because you might bite that rubber band. Trim it as far down as you can. Yeah, that's all it takes right there. I'd like to use this as my base layer. Just like my protective layer, so um, I'll put maybe another sheet of another sheet of blue paper towel or regular paper towel 
or even velvet. I found I like this velvet. Just wrap it around there too, and then throw another rubber band or whatever you want to do. But since I, for composition leaf, um, imitation leaf, I I use these blue shop towels. If I were to use like 23 karat gold or um, anything that genuine leaf, I'll use regular velvet because it, it to me I feel like it doesn't dig in as much and it doesn't hurt the leaf. Whereas if you do this on 23 karat, you're just gonna eat eat the hell out of it. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, guys. I I also like to wrap some tape around there just to keep it real snug and tight. Um, I wish I had a piece of leaf to show you guys exactly how it works, but I'm going to move the camera over here, and you guys can see this panel up close. Let's see exactly how clean these, these spins are. My lighting is horrible in here. It always is. So I apologize for that. I'm going to try to get a good angle. See how sharp the, the edge is on that silver leaf? Well, that's actually aluminum leaf. This gives you a real fine spin. But there you guys have it. Let me know if you have any questions. If I left something out that I didn't answer. Um, good luck and stripe on guys.